Good day everyone and welcome to Slosh Mining. Today we're going to take a look at which miner is best for Ethereum mining. There's three miners that we're going to be using and that is Phoenix Miner, T-Rex Miner and NB Miner. What we're looking for is the information on the miner for our graphics cards. So let's take a look at the categories we're looking at. Okay, so in our mining server 2, we've got four graphics cards, GTX 1070, GTX 1660 Super, the RTX 2070 Super, and the RX 5700 XT. So we know the hash rate of each of these graphics cards. This is the hash rates that we get in NiceHash. We're going to download the Phoenix Miner, T-Rex Miner, and NB Miner. What we're looking for is the following categories. If the miner can mine with AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards, we need to be able to see the temps, the total hash rate, the power limit, the efficiency, the clock speed of the graphics card, and the memory speed. Let's go to the download pages of each of these miners. The links for the downloads will be in the description below. Looking at the first miner, which is T-Rex, the latest version is 0.19.5. We've downloaded the CUDA 11.1. The next downloaded miner we're going for is NB Miner version 36. And we downloaded the win.zip file, which is about 10.7 megs. And the last miner that we will be downloading is Phoenix Miner 5.4C. And all these downloaded links will be in the description down below. Looking at the first bat file for Phoenix Miner, we are using Ethermine. We've added our wallet address and we've given it a name, Mining Server 2. I left all the other settings as standard. I will be putting the bat file in the description down below as well. So this is for Phoenix Miner. This is for NB Miner. We're also using the ethermine.org. Ethereum address is in and our mining server name is in. Not a lot of settings for NB Miner and it's very simplistic. With T-Rex Miner, we on the ethermine.org. We made sure that we're on the same server. Our Ethereum address is in and, and our mining server too server name has been inserted just to recap what we're looking for can the mining software mine on both amd and nvidia cards can you see the temps can you see the total hash rate the power limit efficiency of the card the clock speed and the memory speed let's start with phoenix miner so we've got all three miners set up i've just added a shortcut link on the desktop we're going to start with phoenix miner so let's take a look so from the start you can see that you can mine on amd and nvidia cards you are able to see the temps While it's busy downloading the DAG file, we can see the total speed of our graphics cards. We can see each graphics card's hash rate. We can see the watts of each graphics card as well. But what are we missing? So we can't see the efficiency of each card. We can't see the clock rate and memory speed of the graphics card. Just give it a second for it to spool up. Ok, 
Okay, we're getting about 157.3 mega hash for all four cards. So let's populate our information into our spreadsheet. So as we can see, we can mine with AMD and NVIDIA cards. We were able to see the temps of the cards. Our total hash rate was 156.7. Our power limit on the cards were 477 watts. We were unable to see the efficiency of the cards as well as the clock and memory speeds. Let's test our next miner, which is the T-Rex miner. T-Rex Miner is specifically for NVIDIA cards, so we can only see the three, so we can't use it to mine on AMD and NVIDIA cards. Let's see what other information it gives us. Okay, we can actually see our temps, we can see the power limits, the fan speeds, and it gives us the efficiency, which Phoenix Miner didn't give us. We can see the card names, our average power limit, and our average efficiency, so that's good. I will let it spool up for a few seconds, see what we average out on. Okay, so after running for about just over three minutes, We've got the information we needed. Let's populate that into our spreadsheet and see what the results are. With T-Rex Miner, you are unable to mine with AMD and NVIDIA cards. T-Rex Miner is actually just for NVIDIA. So that's a pity. We can see the temps. Our total hash rate was about 101 mega hash per second. Because we couldn't mine with that 5700 XT, our power limit was at 350 watts. We were able to see the efficiency of our cards, but unable to see the clock speed and memory speed of these graphics cards. Let's take a look at NB Miner and see what the results are. Right off the bat, we can see we can mine with AMD and NVIDIA cards. It actually gives a little bit more information than the other miners. And we've got our devices. We can see our shares, which is interesting. Our power limits for each graphics card, the temperature, fan, clock and memory speed. And we are able to see the efficiency of the cards as well. So we'll just wait for these numbers to populate. And there we go. Right off the bat, we can see we mining at 156 mega hash per second at 466 watts. Let's let it run for a couple of seconds. and see what we end up on.
Okay, so we let it run for a few minutes. Our hash rate is at 156.4 megahash per second. Our efficiency looks good as well, except for that 1070. It's hashing at 26, 27 megahash per second at 127 watts, which is quite high. The temps are high as well. But as you can see, all the information has been populated. Let's fill out our spreadsheet and see how it competes against the other miners. So with NB Miner, you are able to mine with AMD and NVIDIA graphics cards. You are able to see the temps of the cards as well. The hash rate is at 156 mega hash per second. And it's using about 462 watts. You are able to see the efficiency of the cards and the clock speeds and memory speed is populated in the miner as well. So if you're looking for a miner that has all the information within the software, NB Miner is actually your best bet. It mines with AMD and NVIDIA cards, so you won't have that issue. And it gives you all the information you need. Hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful. Thank you for your support for the channel. Please like, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video. Ciao for now.